You're broken down and tired of living life on the merry-go-round. And you can't find the fighter. But I see it in you so we can walk it out. Move mountains. We can walk it out and move. And I'll rise up, rise like the day. I'll rise up, I'll rise unafraid. I'll rise up, and I'll do it a thousand times again. And we'll rise up, high like the waves. We'll rise up, in spite of the ache. We'll rise up, and we'll do it a thousand. The silence isn't quiet, and it feels like it's getting hard to breathe. I know you feel like crying, but I promise we'll take the world to its feet. Move mountains, we can take it to its feet and move. And I'll rise up, rise like the day. I'll rise up, I'll rise unafraid. We'll rise up and we'll do it a thousand times again. For you, for you. Olivia Caridi, Olivia, you did so great. You know what you've done? You've rise, you're rising up, right? Yes. And that means the tote board is rising up. Let's take a look at the number up on the screen. Ladies and gentlemen, the newest tote to start our union portion of the show, $525,755. We're over that half million mark. We're gonna hear from Olivia in just a little bit, but I wanna introduce our friends from WKBW, and before we say that, WKBW has afforded us their satellite truck, satellite time, and some engineers to help us broadcast from WBBZ all over the air. So we really appreciate Mercedes Wilson and Febin Casahoon here from Channel 7, and Tony Vaccaro, take it away, you guys. Woo! Olivia was fabulous, wasn't she, Tony? Absolutely. 
Yes, and yeah, Tony, how many years have you and I been doing this for the Union Drops? I'm going to say four. Four years, four years. And this year, we have someone new with us, our friend Febin from Channel 7. Hey, Febin, introduce yourself. Tell everybody what you do. Hey there, everyone. I'm Febin Casu, and I work over at Channel 7 as a reporter and anchor, and I'm excited to be here. Okay, it is so much fun to do this, Febin. You are in for a treat because the union works so hard all year, right, Tony? Sure. So tell everybody, just, just a few of the things, everyone in line will explain a little more, but just a few of the things you guys do throughout the year to raise money. We, uh, we have a fundraiser for uh, a raffle, which we're going to do at the end of the presentation here. Billy Mayer, who is my co-chair, uh, does a great job with these uh, magnets that look an awful lot like that sticker that he has on there. Uh -huh. uh, he sells those, and we just uh, we uh, sell candy bars and mm -hmm. uh, the... Uh, the executive boards of the yeah. uh, the local uh, the local unions here make donations as well. And who's this lovely young lady standing this here? This lovely young lady is my daughter. Okay, and my you daughter Jenna. Yes, and you have to tell us your why because Jenna is a part of your why on why you guys do so much and why you do so much for the Variety uh, Kids Telethon. Jenna is my why. Uh, I got involved fi about 15 years ago uh, when Jenna was three days old. Came home from the hospital, a beautiful pink little baby girl. Uh, I went back to work. I was an over-the-road truck driver at the time. Uh, overnight, <clears throat> Jenna spit up and aspirated and caused her to go into respiratory distress. Uh, my neighbor took her and her mom. Uh, we lived in North Buffalo at the time. She took her down Delaware Avenue towards um, Millard Suburban. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Millard Gates. Mm -hmm. And uh, they got to Gates, and uh, Jen was still mumbling. So they, uh, they went on and uh, went to... Children's on Bryant, somewhere between Gate Circle and Bryant Street, Jenna stopped breathing, and uh, <coughs> they handed the ER doctors a, a blue baby. And uh, thanks to the folks at Children's Hospital, I was able to walk Jenna down the aisle last year. Yeah. Yeah, that's an amazing story. And so many out in our community have stories just like yours. So this is why we do what we do. And we have to ask the second year co-chair, right? Yes. Bill, why do you do what you do? Um, this is, it's turned out to be a labor of love. Um, it's what we do year round. Um, as union members, we, we help build the city. We help run the city and stuff. And we do all this volunteer work and raising money for much needed causes for Children's Hospital yeah. and the Variety Kids Telethon. Yeah. And Jenna, how does it feel to be back every year? It feels great. It <laughs> feels great to give back to the hospital that saved my life. Yes. And so many people that are lined up here have their whys. And are you ready? Well, before we do that, yes. I would like to take a moment. Uh, I know we have a lot of fun and I yes. enjoy that immensely. Yes. But before we do it, I want to get a little serious. Yes. Uh, last month, we lost a dear friend to organized yes. labor. I don't know if you can come in on this. Uh, Terry Ligurski was the political coordinator for CWA 1133. And uh, tragically, we lost her. And she's a dear friend to all of us here in, uh, in organized labor. Yeah. She was, uh, uh, I'd be generous if I said she was four foot ten. Uh, but she was a giant uh, in uh, in the community. So, yeah. And with that, I'll ask the <coughs> folks from the CWA to come up. This is Denise Abbott, who is the president of the Buffalo Central Labor Council, and Lori, who is a, a co-worker and friend of uh, Terry's. Yep. So um, we just wanted to take a minute. Uh, Terry was a very generous person, and Terry was. The sunshine that walked in a room no matter what was going on and she was always giving always there um, volunteered a lot of hours um, and this was close to her heart so this was something that she took seriously and worked very hard uh, Tony Tony always works us very hard uh, for this <laughs> it's easy to do though this yeah. is easy work um, but this again was something that uh, Terry would have given everything to uh, and she would be here smiling from ear to ear so um, we have a donation from CWA in Terry's in memory of Terry for five hundred dollars for the variety. Thank Club. you. And thank you all for honoring her. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you for she honoring her. She deserved that and more. Yeah. Yeah. 
And then we also have a donation um, from uh, CWA uh, Council, which is all the CWAs throughout Western New York, mm -hmm. um, for $2,500. Nice. Thank so, you. Yep. Round of applause for that. That's a big deal. Thank you so much. No Thank you so much. Thanks, Denise. Denise will be back to help us pick the, uh, the raffle winner. Yes, we do have three raffle or three lucky people that will win. Yes. Okay. All right. Who do we have coming up next, Tony? We have Jeff Richardson and Ron Geezer from the ATU. Make All sure right, Jeff, what do we have? I'm Jeff Richardson, president business agent for the Amalgamated Transit Union. This is Ron Geezer, our FS, financial secretary. We're happy to be here and donate on today for the Variety Club Telethon. We have a donation of um, $500 um, to give on today. Um, so we're just happy to be here and to be a part of it. Yes, thank you. I'd, I'd like to thank Tony and Bill for coming around. Uh, our hard members, uh, working members that work with the NMTA, we, we move the city. Uh, our bus drivers, clerical, mechanical, rail. And Bill was there selling magnets, and our, we had our executive board out there selling tickets. Uh, so thank you all. And I'll say hi to Macy and Reese, my grandkids at home. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thanks, guys. All right, who do we have coming up next, Next, we Tony? have our friends uh, from UAW Local 897. Hi. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Mary Ost. I'm Kim Fuco. And we just, uh, we have a donation today of $9,610 and 20. Okay, say that again. Pull the mic a little closer and say that again. $9,610.25. I do have a couple people I'd like to thank, if you don't yes. mind. I'd like to thank Ford Motor Company, Buffalo Stamping Plant. I'd like to thank the Flores Food Truck. And I'd also especially like to thank the members of Local 897 who have been working hard to earn this money all year. Yeah. And how have you, what have you guys done to, to we, raise the funds? We do basket raffles. We did a poker tournament last year. We nice. just try to make things fun so that people want to come and donate their money. Can I give you my phone number for the poker tournament Absolutely. next year? Absolutely. That'd Absolutely. be great. 100%. That'd be great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you much so for much. your donation. Thank you both. That's the fun part, watching them dump it in. So fun. All right, Tony, thank you so much. Who do we have coming up next? Well, next we have Jimmy Lakeman from uh, UAW Region 9. Tony, thank you. Uh, what do they call I'm here today, sorry. I'm here today with a $1,000 donation from Region 9, nice. which covers all of uh, New York, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey. And on behalf of the 40,000 active and retired members here in Western New York, this is a huge tradition for us. We're yeah. going to donate over $50,000 total uh, throughout all our locals this year. It was started years ago by Tom Fricano and Frank Cataffio. Uh They did all the work, and they passed this tradition along. And uh, all our locals really uh, go out of their way. Local 55, 686, 897 was here today. And we have one local that takes it near to dear to heart. they got a bunch of people... Uh, answering phone calls here today because they're nonstop. And uh, I think Tony's going to show you guys a video of all the great things that they've done. Yeah. And we have that donation with us today also. Now, I have to ask you, you said you guys have raised over 50000 Total. All, all the locals. What is your now. why? What's I think your reason all why? of us have a why. Yeah. I, I have a why. Yeah. And my son has cystic fibrosis. Uh, so it's something that we use Children's Hospital all the time for. Yeah. Thank you. Thank oh, you for thank what you, you do. Yeah. And Tony, he did mention something very important. All the folks on th that are on the phones right now, tell yes. us who they are. They are all union members from various different uh, labor organizations that could be doing anywhere, uh, I'm sorry, could be doing anything anywhere but on they're the Sunday here. afternoon. They are here donating they are here. their time answering phones. So thank you all so much. So as, as Jimmy mentioned, uh, Local 774, uh, we did a uh, video. They couldn't be here. They're out of town. Uh, and if the uh, the production crew is is ready, we would like to do the UAW video, please. We are back at the UAW Hall 774 in Tonawanda, and we're going to meet some of the great union members who have been longtime supporters of the Variety Club. Teddy Maldonado, good to see you again. Tell us who's here. Hi, John. How you doing? We have Larry Bolts, our guide. We have Stacy McCurran, our recording secretary. John Arsini, our financial trust slash treasurer. We have Jeannie Lowhouse, our chair of trustees, and Gary Ritz, our sergeant at arms. Now, in addition to thanking these great people, you want to thank others, union members, and others who have supported the fundraising for Variety. Definitely, this wouldn't have been possible without the without the membership, our retirees, great help, 
without West Her, Region 9 supporting us in everything we do. That's great. And in addition to all of these folks, the union goes back a long time, unions go back a long time in helping the Variety Club. John, I know you, you're very vetted in the history of how the unions have supported the club. Yeah, 60 years ago, we started out here at Local 774 with the guidance of Frank Atapio. Um, and here we are today, we're still doing it. We're, we're, we're showing that, that the UAW 774 is the benchmark when it comes to the telethon. And there's a lot of people to thank down that line. In my life, thank you, Bill Kerr, for getting me involved in this many years ago. Dick, or Dick Foreman, there's a lot of my friends that brought me here, right? And uh, it's amazing where we are today and that we're able to put together such a great donation. And the donations are because of great events that have been happening all throughout the year, not just a little bit before the telethon. Tell us what you've been doing. That's right. We, we had a golf tournament back in June uh, that raised some good money there. And then we did a prize raffle uh, back in February, which we raised uh, $16,000 on that alone, where we sold 2,000 tickets. And then we had the uh, meat raffle, and that raised a good chunk of money. So with the gate collections and the retirees having their gate collection and a few members donating Dougie Dubois matching the retirees donation, that was a big help. Um, we had Gary Ritz, he, he had some fundraising things going on. So we, we had a whole, uh, whole team here, a whole army of people that made this possible. Well, and everybody has a touch point with Variety Club, Oshai Children's Hospital, and all the other children's charities. Now, you mentioned the, Mr. Contapio, and I remember back in the day at the telethons, Mr. Contapio would come out with the suitcase filled with the final funds. Now, we're going to do that right now for the final total for what the UAW 774 and all their members have raised. So, gentlemen, get that uh, suitcase. Let's see what it is. We're sworn to secrecy until telethon time. Here it is. Teddy and John and our folks, read it out to us. $30,774. $30,774. Congratulations to all the union members at 774 and everybody that supports the Variety Telethon. Back to Tony and Mercedes at the Variety headquarters. All right, we have to have you repeat that number again. It's $30,774. Wow. Woo -hoo! And how did you guys raise that money? So the leadership at Local 774, along with their standing committees, which there's a bunch of people here from the standing committees today, they do golf tournaments, they do meat raffles, they have a raffle in the plants, they do gate collections. It's a year-round thing for them. They just constantly are moving, trying to do things better to raise this number up. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. And the video looked great, but he actually has the physical check that he's going to nice. drop in. Nice. I, Tony, I do have to say, I missed our buddies with the suitcase. Me too. Year. Me yeah, too. Yeah. They, they, uh, I do they, miss our buddies with they, the suitcase. That suitcase is iconic. It is. It is. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Who do we have coming up next, Tony? Next, we have my dear friend, Kevin Drysdale from Teamsters Local 449. Hi, Tone. Hello, everybody. Uh, on behalf of Teamsters Local 449, we have a check here to donate this year, $1,000 for this great cause. And thank you, Tony, for all the work you do, and Bill, yourself, and everybody else involved. It's a great honor to be here today. Yes, thank you. And Kevin, tell us what your why is today. My why, well, it started about 15 years ago, selling Kids Day papers on Englewood and uh, Staring, right? And then going and picking candy bars up in tractor trailers down on Delaware Avenue years ago, right? Oh. And, uh, well, here we are today, standing next to the chair and the cold chair for labor. But we came a long way, right, guys? All right. Wow, thank okay. you. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. Now, next, if we could bring up uh, my co-worker, Jeff Ziemba from Team Service Local 264. Hello, everybody. I'm Jeff Ziemba. On behalf of Local 264, our principal officer, Brian Dickman, and our entire executive board, we'd like to donate $2,000 to Variety Club. That's awesome. In addition to that, I guess you also have a check from the Joint Council? Yes, we do. Uh, our Joint Council is comprised of three locals throughout Western New York, going into Rochester, about 12,000 plus members. And today we have a donation on behalf of our Joint Council to this great cause of $2,000. Nice. Thank you. Thanks, guys. So, Tony, I have to ask, thank you all so much. You have to be so proud of all of this every year, right? Absolutely. I, I, I love every single one of these folks. Yeah. And, and they work so hard, mm -hmm. so many different things that they do to raise the money. It has to be an amazing feeling. And it, thank you all for what you do lots. every single as, year. As Billy mentioned, it's a yeah, pun intended, it's, it truly is a labor of love. Yeah, yeah, it is, so. it is. Okay, who do we have coming up next? All right, next we have uh, the uh, Buffalo Teacher Federation president, uh, 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello, Rich. Hi, how are you? I'm Rich Nigro. Yep, Rich Nigro, uh, president of Buffalo Teachers Federation. And this is Melinda McPherson Sullivan, vice president of the Federation. And we've brought $3,632, nice. some of which came right before the office doors closed on Friday. And we've got more donations still coming in. Our QR code is live on the website. And um, we're representing 3,800 members. Nice. And how did you guys raise the funds? Uh, we did uh, basket raffles at one of our union meetings, 50-50s. Um, word of mouth, emails, um, and the QR code helped out quite a bit. And again, people come right into the hall and donate. Nice. And can Thank you tell us what your why is? Yeah. We've got 30,000 whys. So we work with the kids of Buffalo um, every single day. The teachers love what you do. They love the kids. They give of themselves, not just for mm -hmm. days like this where we're raising money for this great cause. Um, but every day, teachers are very generous. Uh, anytime there's a fundraiser in the school, the kids got to sell something to, yeah. the teachers are generally the first point of contact. So they're usually, they're used to reaching into their wallets. So you guys have everybody working. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for sure. what you do. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Rich. And the great news is that number will continue to grow because of that QR code. Yeah. Yep. And this is a year round. You guys don't stop. No, we do not. You guys don't stop. All right, Tony, who do we have coming up? All next? right, next we have Mike Hogan from the Painters Union. Welcome. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. I'm honored to be here. Um, I'm Mike Hogan, the business manager of the Painters and Allied Trades Union. Firstly, I have a donation here of $2,000 from the Buffalo and Niagara County Building Trades Councils. I'm here with uh, two of my fellow brothers from the Sheet Metal and Carpenters Union. So I would like to present the check for $2,000 nice. first from the Building Thank Trades. You. Secondly, I have another check. This is from the... Um, International Union Painters and Allied Trades District Council for what we do is we uh, ask all of our locals to participate and the locals as far as Watertown, Oswego, Syracuse, Rochester, all of our painters, glazers, drywall finishers, industrial painters, they all raise 2,415 more dollars. Nice, thank you. Thank you so much and we have to ask, what did you guys do to raise? Some of the things. Uh, we do multiple things. Billy is our engine that drives us. Billy's one of our members, so he spearheads a lot of it with the magnets, the stickers. Um, the amount of time he puts in is incredible. Mm -hmm. We also have an annual golf tournament that raises a big majority of it. Nice. So we, we try nice. and do it throughout the year. Yeah. You guys are creative. You guys are very creative. Thank you. What do you want to do with that, Bill? Thank you so much. As Mike said, Bill is the, is the Energizer Bunny, and now he's going to, <laughs> he's going to do his drop for his, uh, his magnets. Yeah, um, each year I design magnets and hard hat stickers that I sell um, across all of Western New York, and this year I raised um, $1,223. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, we got to. Uh -oh. Yeah, get those dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and he even brought the money in the container that the magnets came in. <laughs> Great job. Thank you so much. All right, who do we have coming up? I'm Andre Mays. I'm a representative from Sheet Metal Workers Local 71 in Buffalo. Um, we cover Erie, Niagara. Wyoming, Genesee, and Orleans counties. Wow, okay. 600 active and retired members, and uh, happy to be here today. Yes. Okay, so tell us what you're donating and how you raised it. Uh, so we're donating $2,071. Um, 71 is our local number, and it was just, this. we get a lot of requests uh, from charities every year, and this one's an easy one. It just, as soon as yeah. it comes up to our executive board, it gets approved, and that's it just comes right out of our union funds that way. I love it. Thank you so much. Absolutely. We'd also like to... Would also like to say this is uh, the Sheet Metal Workers' first time presenting this year, so we're very proud of that also. Nice. Yes, thank you. I don't, I don't have a check to drop in, unfortunately. We mailed it in. We went the last dramatic. Oh, right? that's okay. We'll take it by mail, too. The good news is I have a copy of it, which I'll be dropping. <laughs> I got thank you. you. Thank you so much. Hi. Good afternoon. How are you? 
Good. Who do we have here? Come on. Well, back we have here. the Carpenters Union. They told them to stand there. They're a little small. Oh, these are these are our junior members, so they're not really <laughs> workers yet. But uh, we're representing the Carpenters Union, local 276, 12 counties in West New York, and um, we're here to uh, present $500 that nice. our members gave as well. In addition. Thank you. Can That's we awesome. get their names? We have Bella, Eli, Amari. Nice. Thank you. All right. Um, I would also like to say this is the Carpenter's first time presenting, too, and we're very proud of that, too. So thank you very much. Ooh. Thank you so thank much. You, Thanks, guys. So cute. Okay. okay. So actually, now at this point, what I'd like to do is um, drop the checks All that, right. of the folks yeah. who couldn't be here today. Yeah, I'll hold that for you. Thank you. So we have my coworker, Darren Ziemba, uh, donated $50. Uh, Cement Masons Local 111, $1,000. I should probably put my glasses on, shouldn't I? <laughs> that might help. Uh, local, uh, Jimmy talked about this earlier from the UAW, Local 55, $1,695. Nice. Uh, United Steel Workers, $200. Iron Workers Local 6, $200. Laborers Local Union 210, $500. Smart, uh, which uh, brother just talked about, $2,071.71. Uh, coincidentally, they're Local 71. Uh, International Union of Operating Engineers, $500. Uh, Roofers Local 74, $500. And the Niagara County Building Trades, $250. Nice. Thank, you, Thank all. you all so much. So, Tony, before we do our drawing and then get a final total, you have a final total, I right? I do. Do you want to do that first? Let's do that first. Well, I also have a bunch of money here that I'd like to drop from the sale of the, the tickets and oh, nice. candy that we sell in my office okay, all year long. So, let's do that. Big thump. <laughs> Big thump. Thank you all so much. I have to ask you before we do the final drawing. How do you feel with all of the work that has been put in from the union, um, how do you feel? And is there anything you want to say to everyone that has put in efforts all year? Well, first of all, my heartfelt thanks. Um, yeah. Everybody who knows me uh, knows how important this is to me. I've told my story numerous times, yeah. and I always you make a fool of myself and choke up and, uh, and tear up. Uh, but it truly is a labor of love. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you all. Yeah. Yeah. And thank you all for what you do. Thank you. I'd also like to take a minute to thank <clears throat> Brian Dickman. He is the uh, president and uh, principal officer of Teamsters Local 264, who opened up uh, our union hall to the credit card operators. Uh, they were there last night. They're there today. Uh, he, opened, uh, he opened it up last year, this year, and he's more than happy to help out. He also is my boss, mm -hmm. who allows me to gives me the leeway to do what I do for variety. So again, my, uh, my thanks to uh, President Brian Dickman. Yeah. All right. So yes, round of applause for that. So now, is it time for the drawing? Well, before we do that, why don't we give a total? Oh, let's do a total. All right, Tony. What What's the, oh, what do you, what do you oh that's fabulous. What do you think? Should we tell everybody out I there? Th I think we should. All right, so you go ahead. $71,258.96. All right, Fevin, do you want to read the tote? Yeah, on the, on the screen over there? Yes. $530,245. Okay, let's do that again. $530,245. Hide me. <laughs> that is fabulous. Thank you, Fabin. Thank you, Fabin. All right, so now let's do the drawing. Let's. Let's do the drawing. All right, so we have three prizes. I love that. That is priceless. <laughs> I love it. All right, so we have three great prizes. So the grand prize um, is two club-level tickets to a 2024-25 season Buffalo Bills home game against your choice of Kansas City, Miami, or San Francisco. Second prize is choice of an electric guitar autographed by the Goo Goo Dolls, or two tickets in section 200 to see the Buffalo Sabres versus New York Islanders on March 14th with the parking pass, or a choice that is not picked from the second prize. Right. 
right? So, yes, and on, on the Sabres ticket comes with an autographed jersey. I don't know if you said that. And that's thanks to uh, Rick Hamister of Northwest Bank uh, nice. donating that. So Nice. All right, so who's Let's drawing for us? Denise. All right, Denise. Denise, Denise the, no pressure. Denise wears plenty of hats. Denise <laughs> is the... Uh, President of the Buffalo Central Labor Council. She's a director at CWA. She's a nurse. Uh, she's one of my members. And the title she has that I, uh, I enjoy the most is uh, I get to call her my friend. Nice. So. Thank you so much. All pressure's on you. So we're drawing for the third prize. I'm sorry, the grand prize. The first. grand prize. Yes. All right, so two club level tickets to a 2024-25 season Buffalo Bills home game. All it is is Lenny B. All right, Lenny B. Lenny B won two club level tickets to a 2024-25 season Buffalo Bills game. All right, so second prize. Choice of an electric guitar autographed by the Goo Goo Dolls or two tickets in section 200 to see the Buffalo Sabres versus the New York Islanders on March 14th. Darcel Gary. So Darcel Gary is the second prize. And for the third prize, who chooses anything that's not picked from the second prize, correct? Correct. All right. It is Joe McCann. And Joe McCann. All right, so we have our winners. We do. Thank you for everybody. Thank you to everybody who uh, bought tickets. Now, uh, do you want to bring all these fine folks back through again? Yes. Or Let's do a, a photo op. Come, Come on, on in. These, these are the nice ladies photo. and gentlemen of the unions. We're going to do a, a great big photo op to thank them for their support all year long. You're up, you're these up, are the men and the women of the unions Absolutely. who have helped us out. <laughs> How about a big round of applause from our phone operators who are union members as well? All right, get everybody in there. This is what it's all about, everybody. The union membership of Western New York, the men and women who are supporting us all year long. Paul, do you want to thank the unions? Uh, my microphone works. Yeah, it's well. good. Go ahead in. Well, I have a personal connection, and that is, see this gentleman over here? Go ahead in. His dad was my partner for 25, 30 years, Richard Lipsitz who was an absolute king of labor lawyers. And I worked for him for many, many years. And also I was a member of the Laborers Union and Teamsters. Uh, so I've got a little bit of connection, <laughs> but we really thank you all. You know, it was a, for a while there, we had, uh, for some reason or another, had, uh, had a disconnect with the unions and now they're all back and we appreciate it because obviously all these wonderful children who are helped at this hospital appreciate it and every single day we're talking about hard-working people who make the world go around thank you so much we appreciate it and i wish uh, your dad was still here he was the best of the best beautiful thank you thank you very much thanks a round of applause everybody for the unions the men and women of the unions <laughs>